No, I just think that we need to make sure that we're studying the crap out of this, especially, you know, objections and things. The, the objection handling formula has really been, a, has really made a big impact on me personally. I'm not in active sales very much right now, but uh, just as I think through when we went to that trade show and how I think through approaching stuff, I mean, it really is a fantastic way to boil it down to what it takes to get the deal done. Um, so, you know, I think so much in my life and I think in sales, I wasn't good at selling a decision to buy today. That's what one of your power sales things was. That's what we're really selling, decision to buy today. And I think this with the piggyback to that objection handling formula really drives it to that decision to buy today. I mean, really does. And so uh, these of all the power sales training, and you've given a lot, a lot of training so far, I think these are, that's the biggest takeaway for me is how to actually – get it from those objection handling to close. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. So I think I always was pretty good at asking the questions, getting the information, doing the discovery, building a presentation. I, I'm not, I wasn't as good as what I've been trained through the power sales, but I think that was one of my stronger parts. And I always had a problem when those objections came up, how to, how to methodically handle them in a systematic way to drive it to a decision uh, quickly. Uh, so it's it's great. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm just patting your back, I guess, but I mean, that's to me why it's so important. I think we have to, if, if our guys don't do anything other than become awesome at that objection handling formula and tie this to it, just that alone with no other training, I think would do the job, mm -hmm. would make us better.